Hello, uh, I actually forgot to start recording, so uh, you missed me building this sign, but I'm hoping that this sign that I just built, that you're about to see, will clear up a few things on this server. <laughs> uh, so, we'll see if you can uh, guess what it says. So, I wish I had a shovel. Oh well. Derp. Oh no. One more, there we go, there we go. Now I just got a few more blocks to... Uh... Wow, a tree grew there. I planted a tree there to mark my spot, and a tree <laughs> it actually grew. Uh, so let's spawn. So you can note these signs here with my server rules. Also there's rules which I've got another rule to add. The first one is do not build, mine, or explore to the east of spawn for that is where the admin dwells. Uh, rule number two, uh, the use of the give command is disabled for all players including the admin so, don't, so do not even ask. Uh, three, ladies play free and so do guys. And four, have a lot of fun. Uh, kind of another rule I'm going to add in there is um, if you attack the admin, you can expect to die. So, <laughs> uh, no. So, I, and I posted some of this stuff over here. Uh, do not build, mine, or explore in the east. That's rule number one, of course. Uh, you can type rules for the server rules. Uh, don't destroy what you did not build, and have a lot of fun, of course. And have a lot of fun is a. Um, tribute to uh, SUSE Linux, which was my original preferred Linux distribution way, way back in the day, uh, back in the late 90s, I guess, <clears throat> before it was bought. I think Novell bought that. Did Novell buy that? I'm not sure. I don't know who owns it now, uh, but it's still out there. It's still a good distribution, actually, uh, but uh, I just don't use it anymore. But it was uh, extremely user friendly. It came with a, a great m manual if you bought the box set of it, you know. And uh, so that that's and at the at the uh, login screen, I think it said "have a lot of fun." And and at the end end of the thing, it's the um, computer the manual for it. It said "have a lot of fun." So. Um, that's why I put that there. So here's my sign. If you head east, which this is east, forbidden. That's <laughs> I don't know how much more clear I can get than that. So uh, if you do join my server, do not head east. You can head uh, south, or you can head north, or you can head west. And there's kind of uh, there's several different ways in Minecraft to determine the direction you're heading or that you're facing. Uh, there's the One way is this. Uh, if you notice, there's an, an X, a Y, a Z, and an F coordinate. The F coordinate is not actually a coordinate. It just tells you what direction you're facing. So I think, I guess north is one, east is two, uh, south is three, and west is zero. So uh, but north, is, the clouds always head north. I'm not sure why they always head north, but they always head north. So um, that's the probably the easiest way to tell, unless it's kind of a relatively cloudless day. Like here you can see them moving away, but if there are not a lot of clouds in the sky, it might be a little bit hard to tell. Uh, at midday, it's hard to tell from the sun, but the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, just as it does in the real world. And uh, I'm sure there are probably, let's see, there's some way to do it with cobblestone. Uh, let's see. I, this little, when cobblestone, when these lines were darker, it was a lot easier. But I think this little L points 
southwest or something all the time. I'm, is that right? Yeah. So the bottom of the L is south, and this the this side of the L is west, but and it points southwest. So that's yet another way, and I think Netherrack actually does that as well. Uh, because originally, I don't know if it does now, but I know originally Netherrack was a uh, reskinned version of of this. Uh, oh, what of cobblestone? So, well, I got confused there for a second. So. Anyway, uh, I've forbidden anyone on my server to go to the east, and I thought I'd put up this little sign. I'm going to build a a wall of trees, uh, kind of extending out into the east and the south, and the east and the north. Kind of, kind of uh, I'm going to have like a big arc of trees, maybe around uh, the spawn area. Uh, for a few hundred blocks, hopefully at some point, uh, so that uh, that would be a good way for people to tell, hey, I'm in an area that I don't need to be in, because this is where the admin dwells, and I think it's pretty reasonable to say, I want, you know, a quarter of the server for myself, and uh, everyone else can have uh, three quarters of the server, because it is, after all, not ex exactly. Uh, infinite like it's due to the limit it's the worlds are infinite but uh, due to the limitations of the computers that the worlds are run on the worlds are effectively um, finite uh, from a playability standpoint um, and I'm gonna plant a couple of trees out here to get it going my my vast tree arc uh, that will denote you do not go past this line. But I, I think this sign, you know, kind of handles part of that for me pretty well. So hopefully uh, people will read that. And it should be in a... I've built it close enough to spawn that I think people will not be able to destroy it unless they're using some sort of hack that I don't know about. Um, I have spawn protected within 125 blocks of spawn, so this will remain unless I personally edit this area, uh, go in here and uh, do things like build this thing that no one can build within 125 blocks of spawn. So, uh, and nobody can build so at all unless I give them build rights. So. If you do join the server and you can't do anything, uh, send me a message on YouTube. Uh, my YouTube username is Joseph Bales, the same as my uh, uh, login name here on Minecraft. So you can send me a message on YouTube. You can send me a message via the internal mail system uh, here in Minecraft. Uh, and what else? That, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I've got some email. I've got a website, josephbells.com. I think i got a contact form on there. Uh, I don't really update that website, but um, I might at some point. But I don't update it right now very frequently. So, uh, But there, there is, I believe there is a contact form, so you can give that a try. And... I'm going to plant some more of my saplings. That, well, it's probably a little too close. I'm going to head toward that clump of trees over there. Planting saplings as I go. I'm kind of the Johnny Appleseed of this server. Planting trees. I really need to make that a rule, too. That would be kind of a... Uh, some of these rules are kind of, you know... Hard to enforce. No building or exploring in the east. Kind of hard to enforce, especially when I'm not on the server like 90% of the time. <laughs> or probably 95% of the time I'm not on the server. So uh, that one would be difficult to enforce. But I'll give it a, 
a try anyway. See how far I can I can make it. How long I can go without anybody destroying my stuff. Uh, I don't know that... Uh, let me do this. I can see real quick. So, there's my coordinates now. 127.62. One sixty seven forty. So this house which which uh, whoops sorry. This house is um marginally within the one hundred and twenty five block radius. I'm not sure if it's all gonna be within the one hundred and twenty five block radius. So that uh of spawn, so that should prevent most people from ransacking it, but we'll see. Uh, I've never run my own Minecraft server, so I'm not sure of how easy it is to hack, how easy it is to come in and grief it. So, I've seen some videos that give me a pretty good idea. Um, so we'll just we'll see how that goes. But if it does get griefed or if it does get ransacked, um, I guess I'll just build again. I mean, it's not going to be that big a deal. I can check and see who was on the server. Somebody I didn't know who it was. Um, I can just ban that person, or ban their IP, something like that, and uh, at least I wouldn't have to worry about that one person again. Although if they've got friends, and they usually do, they'd be back, but um, or multiple accounts. But that's just something you gotta live with in Minecraft, I guess, and that's the same in every world. You know, you. you even in the real world, you you uh, move into an area, and you gotta have to deal with your neighbors. <clears throat> and sometimes you get good neighbors, and sometimes you get bad neighbors. So uh, sometimes bad neighbors move in and ruin a ruin a perfectly good neighborhood. So um, or at work, you know, you have a good team of people you like to work with, and then you get somebody in that's kind of a cancer in the locker room so to speak not much you can do about it you know until they decide to leave or usually people like that uh, do themselves in they don't last very long uh, sometimes they last for a while but usually they get rid of themselves they can't perform or uh, do something to get themselves fired so you know but still anyway that's that's uh there's so there's griefers in real life too i guess is what i'm trying to say with that but anyway my new sign the forbidden sign don't uh don't come here and expect to be able to explore or build in the east put some torches on my sign so that people will know that i'm serious even at night time. Something I need to do. I'm going to pause the video very briefly. Just to do that. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. And here we go. The forbidden sign at night. As viewed from the top of spawn. So, uh... Don't, 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 don't F with me. <laughs> Uh, I need to go over there and do something about that sand behind the E. It makes it a little bit... The readability is not that great. But it um, be kind of hard to miss this sign, I think. Uh, especially the the preferred route when people leave spawn is they, they come out and they either head this way and they just keep heading that way, which is fine. Or they come out and they go this way which is fine or they come out and they come around here and they say oh I don't want to go over this big hill over here I'll show you that in daytime they say oh I don't want to go over the big hill so I'll go kinda of, I'll cut around here or I'll cut through there through this there's a little low area right there or they'll go around the, the end here and so that that's kinda of the preferred path to take that direction, that direction, or an end around and go in that direction. So, uh, 
I think that everyone would be able to see this forbidden sign that was potentially going to start out at spawn and, and head that way. So we'll see how it works. We'll see if it's effective. If it's not, you know. Oh well. That's all I got for now. Peace out. Bye-bye.